one of my favorite new picks was in Seattle. I love this place because the, the owners, Don and Michelle, they're this lovely young couple and we have so much in common. The man uh, was trained by his mother. He went to the Culinary Institute of his mama. He's Sicilian. The two of them fell in love and they got married in Italy, just like somebody else I know. <laughs> and uh, the food is just fantastic and it's just such a warm, cozy little place that um, I said, hey, let's get a couple of crew members together and uh, before the signing, we taped this lovely, uh, this lovely place to share with you. So here's my new pick for Seattle. This is where you're gonna find me at dinner next time. Let me introduce you to Volterra, watch this. Mm. A beautiful glass of Brunello wine, a uh, tenderloin of wild boar with gorgonzola sauce down over it. I could be in Italy, but I'm not. I'm in Seattle. That's right, Seattle. I am at my new pick here, my favorite spot for dinner, Volterra. That's the name of the little village that the owners got married in, in Italy. Our restaurant is a tribute to the town we love in Italy. We have a primarily Tuscan menu. The decor of the restaurant, we brought back alabaster light fixtures that I actually designed and had hand carved by artisans in Volterra. You know, Volterra is just, again, it's a magical place. And once you, if you've ever driven through the hills of Tuscany, all of a sudden you see this big, beautiful, walled city. Chef Don, he went to the Culinary Institute of his Sicilian mama, just like me. First thing I made was chili, and then I graduated into the spaghetti sauce. What my mom taught me was how to, to make good food, simple food that people are going to enjoy. As if a successful restaurant wasn't enough, Don and Michelle's homemade seasoned salts are now sold throughout the country. It's a great all-purpose seasoning. We serve it on our tables um, with our bread service. With Chef Don in the kitchen and Michelle up front, Volterra has become the place to be for Seattleites and celebs alike. But here's the big question. Does the food taste as good as it looks? The wild boar, I've never seen it here in the States outside of Tuscany, you know what I mean? Hard to find, but easy to eat. Mm. Delicious, Don, fabulous. And you know, a lot of people don't don't think of wild boar when they think of dinner, but it's you know just it's a pork tenderloin. That's what it is, and it was especially delicious. But it's a nice little bit of Italy back here in the states. And next time you go to Seattle, please check it out.